have to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved in the Leeds International Festival of Ideas. It's an honour to be up on stage in not only a beautiful theatre, but, you know, there's brilliant speakers throughout the festival and to sort of have a small part of that is a real treat. Hello, my name is Georgie Barrett. I'm a tech journalist and TV presenter. I have presented many shows. The Gadget Show is probably the one that I've done the most. Um, and it's amazing. I get to travel around the world testing out the latest in consumer electronics. It was amazing. Oh, it was such a good atmosphere. Because it's a panel discussion, you're sort of you're speaking to your panel, but also the audience make up a big part of that because you throw it open to audience questions. So you really get a sense of the people in the room. There were lots of laughs that were happening. Like sometimes it was quite a heavy subject, but ultimately it had a really feel-good vibe. And we also discussed some really interesting stuff. I learned stuff. I, I guess what was great about the panel is that we had quite sort of balanced views. So we had some people who really thought AI would be the saviour of humanity or at least be a tool that will help us, you know, solve climate um, change, things like that. But then we also had people on the panel who were really worried about AI, worried about how it's being made, worried about biases in the data, worried that it'll take our jobs. And I think ultimately this is why we have these discussions because we're not sure in what direction we, it will go. We're not sure if it will solve all our problems or sort of be the downfall of us. So we need to be exploring that and we need to be exploring that with people who are, you know, on the sort of cold face making and working with this stuff every single day. And that's what we had on stage. The conclusion? Think we're still unsure um i think i think it's still you know a, a nuanced argument that it isn't black and white there's a gray area in between and ultimately this technology is really exciting and i'm really excited by it but we've got to go into it with our eyes open ultimately the tech companies are going off and making this technology and legislation is a, plays a really important role but it's very hard to keep up you know the tech is moving incredibly quickly um there are different sort of stakeholders involved in it um it can obviously be as used as a tool for good so you don't want to stifle innovation but then also you need to make sure that you have the right guidelines and protocols in place so you know you don't get some of the negative consequences of it some of the concerns that were raised today um that there's maybe bias within the data that's given to these algorithms so that then it continually continually perpetuates that bias um we had people worried about you know it replacing humans de-skilling humans that was a really important one um we had a really interesting doctor on the panel and she was saying that ultimately often doctors will see what the ai says when it comes to diagnosing a patient and they will then won't question it they'll think oh that, that's the right answer and what we know is that ai sometimes gets it wrong so you need to make sure that you still have that human skill base so you can distinguish whether it's right or wrong for example in my google maps i once drove into a field because it told me to go left into that place and you don't want people like that you want people approaching this technology with a critical mind oh listen i think ai will be able to create stuff that we will truly relate to and we won't have a problem with that i'll tell you an example of why i think that is that there's already ai content creators or you know an ai algorithm creating content on the internet like a youtuber and people watch it and engage with it and they know it's ai but they they form a relationship with it they find it funny you know it sort of it feels human and there's a human connection there. So I feel like if we're already at that point where people can, you know, um, form a connection with AI influencers, then there's no reason why it won't be able to create art that moves us or um, movies or songs that move us or we really like. Um, but I do think there is an element that we like to know that it's been created from a human that's experienced the same experiences of us. So I think ultimately there will be creative stuff out there and we'll enjoy it for the fact that it's out there and it's a banging song and we're dancing to it in the club and hey, who cares whether AI wrote that or not. But there's other times where we would want to see something or engage with something and it has that like created by a human and that adds value to it in some way. For me, this is like my favourite subject to talk about. I could talk about it to the cows come home. And I love the fact that we have people there on stage and I can pick their brains and they can give really insightful, um, you know, comments and thoughts about something that we know is coming and we know will impact every single one of us in the way that we work and the way that we live. And this technology is out there and we know it's going to do that already. So how amazing that we get to speak to these people who are already using it in some capacity to work out whether it's going to lead to a positive future or potentially a negative future. I haven't spent loads of time here. I actually, because I'm, I'm staying in the hotel here, I had a little walk through the city centre. It was lovely. I So I've, I've sort of filmed on the outskirts, but I've never actually come into the city centre. 
he'll be coming back. You've got so many great shops. We have, yes. You've got so many jewellery shops. Why are there so many jewellery it's shops? A it's, it's a, a thing. thing. It is yeah. a thing. I really noticed that. I was like, I get myself some diamonds while I'm here. Yeah. I think the beauty of it being in person is that you firstly have this quite lovely curated evening where you have these different specialists from different areas who can give those different viewpoints that you may not hear. It also just gives a breathing space to a subject. Like, who can possibly, you know, conclude whether AI is going to be good for you or not or, you know, the impact of addiction or, you know, some of these, like, really big thorny subjects you can really tackle and you can like work out the nuances of it i think audience can participate as well it's just for me i if i ever do something like this i only come away feeling inspired and excited and feeling like you know there is some really incredible stuff happening out there and sometimes you don't get that if you're just living life online or reading news stories